Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into the Real Housewives of Potomac. Let's go. So we see Sheila. We haven't seen Sheila in a long time. She has met um, Ashley to get some flowers for her housewarming party. And uh, she set the housewarming party on a day that Sheila's not able to attend on the day she's going to be working. I wonder why she did that. Sheila was very surprised that Ashley and the boys had gone on a vacation with Michael. Uh, Ashley said they're still navigating this cold parenting situation. Mm. Ashley, Ashley needs the funds, right? Ashley and Michael would be like this for a very long time. So Ashley and Sheila are talking about the lawsuit that mm. Michael Darby has against Candace, right? A little bit. And Ashley pretends like she doesn't know all into it, right? And Sheila was like, well, is it safe to say that you're not inviting Candace? She was like, uh-uh. The thing is, it's not that she can't invite Candace. It's that she can't invite Candace, right? Because Michael would probably frown upon that in his home or in Ashley's new home that he has a key to that he visits whenever he wants to. Let's keep going. So Mia and Karen are meeting up. And it's hilarious how Karen extended her arm for a handshake because she can't with Mia. Mia accused her of something that Sharice had said about Karen last season of her sleeping with someone in the bathroom. Karen is treading lightly. So Karen tells Mia that she did not appreciate what she said because it was disrespectful to her husband. And how would she feel if she had done that to Gordon? And then she asked about Gordon in the situation and the embezzling where it came up with Giselle had said, and Mia said she thought that it was embezzlement as well. Then Mia let Karen know that when she threw that drink on Wendy in Miami, she was also taking medication. So that's why she had stopped drinking and she's dialing it back. So Karen said that there's hope, so we'll see. Child, so this guy has come over to Lil Bit's house. I don't know if he's her manager or stage manager or business manager, whatever. So they're talking about the tour dates. They're talking about her record label about to, her contract is about to end. And he's talking about, you know, what's next. So he mentioned all these states and things like that. And then he said, Chicago. And he said, what about working with Drew Sedora? Now, Lil Bit was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she brought Drew out. And they sound like a chorus, right? Lil Bit said, I don't necessarily need to do anything else with Drew again. Like, I don't need her to be put people in the seats. Like, that time has passed. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Okay, I had to put their picture up here because we need a visual. All right. So, Juan has come in the house. And when she asked him, what have you been up to? He said, running some errands. Like, did you run the errands that Robin sent you to run? You can't tell me where you've been? Like, what kind of errands you running? DoorDash? Because you're not even working. I feel like if I ask you what you're doing, you ought to be able to tell me what you're doing. So Robin lets one know that the ladies called her over to what is an intervention, right? And she was saying how when the laundromat picture had come out, how it made her look. Or how, how did it make her feel? When one said, I don't care... Like, am I not supposed to live my life? The message, the cadence, the volume, and the tone in which he said that let me further know that we need to just leave these two alone because this is what's going on over there. Then she went on to say that they were concerned about how it makes her look. Robin said, I don't care how it makes me look. I don't... Listen to that. Robin said... I don't care how it makes me look that my husband goes out and is photographed in laundromats in nail salons with other women because he's living his life. That's what she said. Y'all, at this point, Robin is probably packing one spin a night bag and dropping him off over to Bree's house and picking him up in the morning. So, Th they're going to do what they're going to do, right? So I'm going to bow out of Save Robin. That whole campaign, I'm out of that part. All I'm going to do at this point is just discuss the show. And that's it. Because I feel like y'all need to pull out of that too. Because nothing's going to change here. Robin is good. Let's keep going. 
So now they're talking about a real conversation about him not working. So when she said, I want to check in with you and see how you're doing. Are you looking for work? He said, I'm trying. I'm going to figure it out. Don't rush the process. I have time. Time for what? Y'all got growing boys and a mortgage and electricity and groceries. What do you have time for, sir? Does that mean I still have some money in the bank time? I don't I don't understand that. Then he gets to talking about how he's not worried about things because he did the right thing as far as the situation at the college. And she's like, Oh yeah, you know, one did everything right. I'm now this is what I am tired of. I'm tired of Robin speaking for one when she doesn't know what she's speaking about. Because I a hundred percent believe she has no idea what she's speaking about. Let's move on. I put this up here because Wendy is definitely like changing, right? Like her look is different. Kind of like Phaedra. Her look is different. But Wendy says she's a multi hyphenate, right? She's trying to do she's doing everything. She's a mom, a wife, an author, a political figure and all that kind of stuff. Now she wants to be a talk show host. But the one thing about Wendy and her ideas, I don't know what their bank account is, but it's like she never quite has the funds to fund the life that she wants, right? So I don't know where this is going to go. We'll just have to see. But this lady that she's talking to, she's not feeling it. Let's keep going. So the ladies are at Pilates. They finished exercising. Um, Karen lets them know that Mia and her are trying to get things back on track. Giselle then asks, are you going to apologize to Robin for the rumors that you put out about Juan? Now, Karen said, I don't know anything about international, but I know about domestic. Although it was a rumor, I feel it's some truth to it. That was it. Because I agree with Karen. So then they got into, is Ashley going to invite Candace? She said no. Is Ashley going to have a guest? She said no, because Michael won't allow it. Then they got to talking about Giselle and her young boyfriend, right? And Mia said, I wouldn't know what to do with a young guy. Giselle said, I do. And then Karen said she went the other way, 16 years younger rather than 17 years older. I ain't going to even lie. I'd much rather be with a younger man. In the words of Phaedra Parks, I am not a nurse. Let's keep going. Maybe if Mia and Karen had went a little younger, maybe they wouldn't have alleged side pieces. And I mean alleged in Karen's case. Now let's keep going. So we're at the housewarming. Um, Ashley has let her uncle know that she and Michael and the boys have gone on vacation together. He doesn't understand it, but he said that's her life. Y'all, Sesame Street has entered the building. Deborah is in the house. But that's Ashley's friend, so she will be there. This is going to be a good season. NECA comes in. She's introduced to the girls. She's sitting down. She looks beautiful. Um, and Wendy speaks to her. Then she lets everybody know after Wendy leaves that she's met her before. Ashley pulls Wendy aside to talk to her, like, out of nowhere from the group. P.S. When they did that flashback on Wendy's wigs she has really come up like her hair is really pretty on this episode she's come a long ways wait i gotta say this when ashley said that her house is like her little beach house and mia said cute where's the water girl where is the house mia where is the house like you got a lot of nerve to talk about somebody's residence when you yourself say you are living in a closet pump your brakes so Ashley pulls me aside to talk about an article that says she's been shunned out of her culture because of whatever, right? And Wendy is looking at Ashley a certain way. She doesn't feel like she's fully trustworthy, and she is right. And Ashley was at lunch discussing Wendy with NECA. Like, Ashley is not trustworthy. She's the least one to trust in this whole entire group. That's all I got for it. Tell me what y'all think about it. It's your girl, Millie Chan. Talk to you later. Bye.